Okay, so 99% of the math students that I've taught over the decades have always seemed to confuse this little topic here. Okay, now, of course, I, as a math teacher, you know, done my best to try to make this clear, but uh, students just tend to make this, uh, tend to overlook something that's very, very important about this particular saying, and I want to kind of, you know, reinforce this to you. Now, you might know this already, but you may not, okay? And even if you do know it, students, again, tend to apply this. Now, this little P-E-M-D-A-S, what do you think the topic is here, right? We would say this, all right, this is a little mnemonic, as PEMDAS, and there's a little saying that goes along with it, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Or maybe you learned another saying, but most of you should be familiar with this little acronym, P-E-M-D-A-S, PEMDAS. Yes, we are talking about the order of operations, okay? And, of course, I have some arrows in here to kind of pointing to the, the spots that uh, students tend to confuse. And, you know, when they confuse this, they're like, wow, I didn't know this. You're like, what? I didn't know that. Well, you know, I'm sure your teacher stresses to you, but it's one of these things I just, for whatever reason, uh, students tend to forget. Now, over time, you know, students, you know, uh, figure this out. So what we want to do is have your expression go from this to like, yes, I know how to do this 100% because, you know, listen, we're only interested in having you getting A pluses 100% and uh, a few little stars on your paper. Now, of course, making uh, mistakes in mathematics is a natural. It is part of the process. So, don't feel bad about making a mistake, okay? Feel bad about not learning from your mistakes. That's the main idea. So if you do poorly on a quiz or a test or something like that, figure out what went wrong, okay, and concentrate and try to learn from it. So, But this video is going to try to prevent you to, from making an error when we're talking about order of operations. And we're going to get to this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tema Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, as I said, and uh, over several years I've constructed um, what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. I'll let you be the judge of that if you're interested. You can find a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically I have 100 plus different math courses. I have the big courses like pre-algebra, geometry, algebra 2, algebra 1, college algebra. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here. And I have a lot of uh, people, like say homeschoolers, that take independent study, take my online courses, you know, it's a full, complete curriculum. But I have a lot of specialty courses. So for those people who are like studying for the GED or SAT or teacher certification exam or some other particular type of exam, a college entrance exam, a nursing exam, I have many, many, many test prep courses. So it's taken me years to build my uh, program out. But then I got a lot of people that use my program that are like, let's say, in college algebra that are just, you know, are struggling with their uh, course. Maybe they, they are not clicking with their teacher's style of instruction and they want another, uh, you know, they need some support, right? So with my program, you can get a ton of support, a lot of instruction. I think you'll really like it and benefit from it. Again, you can find a link to it in the description of this video. Now, let me say a little bit about notes, okay? Talk about notes here for a second before we jump in to this topic. If you're a math student, and I assume that you are if you're watching this video, you got to know the golden rule of math, right? At least my golden rule of math that I developed over decades of teaching the subject. And that is this, over years and years and years of observation, one thing is apparent to me, those students who take the best math notes almost always have the best math grades. And the reverse is true, those students who don't take notes, just, eh, you know, sloppy notes. Maybe they take notes every other week. Uh, maybe they got their best friend in the class. They're like, listen, that guy, he takes way better notes than me. You know, it's important for me to keep up on my social media. You know, plus I like to do my homework in math class. Listen, I get it. I was a student once. But guess what? I paid a price myself, you know, <laughs> and you will pay a price as well. If you don't take good math notes, you're going to be like, you know, you're going to have this sad face and you're going to be wondering, you know, why is my math grade not where I want it to be? Well, take a look at your notes. Be honest with yourself, right? It takes work and effort to take great math notes. So, but it's absolutely critical to your retention and comprehension. So we're talking about mathematics here, right? We're talking, you know, I want you to be successful in math, but I got to get you to understand the importance of note taking. All right. So really work on it. Well, there's almost uh, most of you out there, there's room for improvement. There's always room for improvement no matter what. There's very, very few students out there that take outstanding uh, notes. I mean, I, I've had students through the years 
take better notes than me. I'm like, wow, I'll, I'll take your notes, but I got to write my own notes down because that's what you got to do when you're studying mathematics. But in the meantime, as you're improving, you need something to study from. So I offer pr uh, notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find links to those uh, notes in the description of this video. All right, so let's get into PEMDAS, everyone's favorite su subject order of operations. Just absolutely critical um, uh, part of mathematics. You've got to know the order of operations. So what is uh, the order of operations? Let's just quickly write this down. Order of operations and uh, in mathematics, we have these things called operations. Now, it's not like, uh, you know, a a heart transplant or some other medical procedure operation, right? And some of you out there are like, well, I'd rather, I'd rather deal with one of those operations deal with math. Well, listen, math doesn't have to be that bad, right? So in mathematics, an operation is what we can do with numbers. If I give you the numbers 2 and 7, what can we do with those guys? Well, we can add them, we can subtract them, we can multiply them, we can divide them, we can even form some powers with them. So all these guys right here are uh, mathematical operators, okay? It's things that we can do with two numbers, right? You know, two plus uh, seven, two minus seven, whatever the case is. So when you're doing something with two or more different numbers, these are called uh, operations, and these guys are here called mathematical operators. And we also would include uh, grouping symbols, the way we can group uh, numbers together, okay? So we have these little crazy brackets like this. So this whole, um, you know, uh, a set of operators and things we can do with numbers, we have to figure out, well, you know, what do we do first? Okay, when I'm given a bunch of numbers, if I have some problem with a bunch of different numbers in it and a bunch of different operators, well, obviously, if you do, you can get all kinds of different answers depending on the order of the of the way you manipulate the numbers. If you multiply first versus divide first versus add first, subtract, you'll get all kinds of crazy answers. Which one is right? Well, the one that's right is the one that you uh, took the correct order in. So there is a very specific order in order to do uh, problems that involve multiple mathematical operators to them. Well, what's the order? Okay, what is that order? Well, it is that PEMDAS. All right, PEMDAS. So this is like our checklist, okay? And it stands for parentheses. The E stands for exponents or powers. Multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So that seems pretty uh, straightforward. And most of you out there are like, yeah, I know that. Okay, so this is my checklist. I'm going to do all the things in parentheses. And of course, there's some things we need to power here. I mean, sorry, practice here because, you know, you can have multiple parentheses and bigger things. But this is just the, the starting point. Okay, we're going to do the prints, what's inside parentheses first. Then we're going to do powers. And then we're going to do the rest of this. And this is the rest of this is what I'm going to be talking about. So we're going to give you a quick little pop quiz, and I want you to look at these two problems. It's the same problem, okay? We have 40 divided by 4 times 5 and 40 divided by 4 times 5. Now, let's take a look at this. Which one is uh, correct, okay? Well, we look here. I go 40 divided by 4, or I can say 40 divided by 4 is 10, all right? So I got 10. 10 times 5 is 50. That seems like a reasonable answer, okay? Let's go over here. We got 40 divided by 4 times 5. Same problem, but this uh, time I went like 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, that's right. And then 40 divided by 20 is 2. Well, that seems reasonable as well. So which one is right? Okay, same problem, two different answers, but, you know, kind of a logical approach to both. Which one is correct? Let's see uh, who got this right. Well, if you said 50, give yourself a happy face, an A plus, a 1,000%. Yeah, you got to have a few stars in there. I remember getting those stars way back in the early 70s when uh, going to school was awesome. I tell you, uh, I can remember my first grade teacher actually smoking in the classroom uh, there in uh, California. Riverside, California is where I kind of grew up. And uh, yeah, it was a trip. It was a good old day. So anyways, but I remember getting the stars. I was like, wow, I'm exciting. So if you did get this right, then very, very good. But let's review um, why this is correct and why this other one isn't. If you did get this, uh, uh, if you selected two as your answer, don't worry because most students 
uh, will make that mistake, okay? At least once when they're learning this, okay? So that's kind of the, you know, my little title to this video, that 99% of students, in most students, I it's a 99% I don't know exactly, but it is the majority of students will tend to make this error because there's something that we need to review about PEMDAS here, okay? So let's go ahead and do this now. So PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. So the way it works is this. We're going to do what's inside parentheses first. We're going to work from the inside parentheses out. Then we're going to be, once we identify our set of parentheses, if there's parentheses in a problem, okay, we're going to look inside that problem, and the first thing we're going to do is exponents. We're going to do powers. We're going to be looking for powers. Now, sometimes there is no powers. So we move on to this right here, okay? Most people think you're going to move on to multiplication. You're going to do multiplication first. That's what people say, okay? They think multiplication is always going to become, uh, you're always going to do multiplication before division, right? That's what... Uh, most students, well, many students think, but that's not the case. The multiplication and division and the addition and subtraction, you're, gonna, you're going to do whichever one comes first from left to right, whichever which one uh, you see. So if you see division on the left and then multiplication, well, that's what we're going to have. So we could write this crazy mnemonic instead of PEMDAS, we could write it as PE. Uh, D, M, but you know, then again, we wouldn't have our please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, uh, nice little phrase, but we just need to understand that. Okay, so that's why I was kind of, you know, in my little thumbnail to this video, was pointing to these areas. All right, so here I'm like, ooh, I have multiplication and division. So which one comes first uh, from left to right? Division is first. That's why I have to do this first. Okay, but if you know, some of you out there were like, no, 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 we have, we must do multiplication before division every single time. I'm going to have to do this because in PEMDAS, this is the M, and then I do the D. This is where people get this in trouble. This is a very, very common mistake. So don't beat yourself up too much if you made this error, all right? <clears throat> um, the main idea here is to learn from this and uh, to say, okay, I got that. You know, I'll watch this video. I'll remember this. Uh, the next time out, and you got to be paying attention. You know, the order of operations, you know, uh, can you know you can have all kinds of arithmetic problems to simplify. Uh, that can you know you have to really think about uh, using uh, the order of operations as PEMDAS over and over again. This is obviously you know a real basic problem, but it all starts when your understanding of you know the application of the order of operations. Okay, and this left to right rule. Uh, and by the way, the left to right rule also applies to addition and subtraction, okay? Okay, so that is uh, going to be a wrap for this video. And again, my goal is always to get you to have these A pluses, these 100%. Maybe some of you can get that bonus question right on your little test and get like 105%, which would be even office. We're definitely not into little sad faces, but that is the, you know, don't beat yourself up if you make a mistake in math, all right? What you don't want to do is be like, well, I'm just bad in math and I'll just let it go and hope for the best. Maybe the next chapter, you know, will be better. Maybe next month. No, it doesn't get better. I can tell you, okay? Math builds upon itself. So you got to correct these uh, misunderstandings, whatever their case is, okay? All right. So if you like this video, enjoyed it, found it educational in some manner, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Been on YouTube for a long time. It's a great platform for someone like myself who's obsessed with teaching math in a clear and understandable way. That's my goal is to make this stuff understandable to you. Okay, so if you like my teaching style, you can find tons of material on my channel. Various math topics organized from basic to advanced. Um, and then, of course, obviously, if you really want my best uh, work, check out the links and resources in the description of this video. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.